using the systems that you're used to. We're going to now talk about uh, some other features of, of cloud, some other features of systems that people associate with cloud, and that's mainly the area of scale and elasticity. I mean, you hear that all the time. The cloud is great because I can scale up and scale down and grow and shrink my app. So, Derek, let's go to a demo and talk about uh, and show how quickly we can scale up and scale down and, and you know, whether we're trying to do it to maximize our performance or throughput or to minimize our, our cost. I mean, how quick is this? Is, am I waiting you know, minutes and hours to, to yeah. boot or? And what we're going to show is, is and uh, Mark's talking about, is we're going to show a brute force kind of a demo um, that I'm going to show you. And then we're also going to show you kind of a, a more sophisticated example of if the system provides you with these basic foundational principles of scaling up, scaling down, elasticity is very, very fast, very, very light very, very free, so to speak. Um, what kind of things can you do? And we're going to see Mark's demo in a second about something that's a lot more sophisticated. But just at the bare bones level, we always seem to have this, uh, what we call kick the cloud tires. You know, how fast can the system actually scale up? And a lot of people on the webcast and in the audience understand that there's lots of moving pieces that mean, you know, when can I actually launch an app? And so, well, we're going to stick with Node right now, and this is a very, very simple uh, Node app, which we will take a quick look at. And it's very similar to the Hello World app. So all it does is, is it creates a uh, server, which is asynchronous, that Ryan and, and Node uh, actually provides us. It'll say hello from Cloud Foundry. The only difference is, is that on this line right here, it's going to tell you where it's running, the host and the port. And we'll call it N, because I like simple things. And because you reserved all short names for yourself, right? I did, yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, so you've got an IP, you've got a port number. We can hit refresh and we see that there's one of these guys. If we go back to our command line, you can say list, and you'll see that N has one instance running down at the bottom. And I can actually even do things like VMC instances of N, and it will actually report data on every instance that the system's running. And so, you know, we wanted this concept of you know, send us everything, but it's going to feel light as if you're developing locally. Uh, we also wanted this concept of, hey, scale the system up, and it's going to feel lightweight. It's going to be very, very responsive, very, very quick. So I can say instances, if I can type right, of n, let's say plus 10. So I'll get 11 total. Okay? Okay, well, hold on a second. So with instances of 1, maybe you can handle 100 requests a second. With instances of 10, Maybe you can do a thousand. So you just basically handled a slash dot by typing a command and and you scaled 10x. Right. And so now, as we again, my simple demo, as I keep hitting this now, you'll see that the IP and the ports are changing around here. And I can say, okay, uh, let me bring this up here. Instances and back to one. So immediately go back to one. Now it's going to be stuck again. So I mean. That type of, of, of power and flexibility of scaling the system up, and again, remember VMC is, is a command line tool that's not using anything that no one else can use underneath the covers, which is just HTTP and JSON to control the system. Hey, boot this up, boot this down. So I'm going to go ahead and, and delete N. So now there is going to be nothing's, nothing's home. And so we'll say VMC um, push N. Don't ask me any questions. I know what I'm doing. I think I do. Instances, 25, Go big. 50, big. let's do 100, and we'll actually time it. And this is guaranteed not to return until the health of every single instance has been checked and it's guaranteed to be available through a public URL that we've assigned it. So again, it's going to go, figure out the app, figures out what it needs to do, stages it, packages it, calls out for help within the, the clustering system, and goes ahead and deploys it. And so that was eight seconds. That's not bad. And they're all there and all running. And that call is guaranteed not to return until they're absolutely running. Now, Node Simple is because of the fact that it's a Node framework and the application is very trivial, doesn't really have a startup cost associated with it. So we're really pressuring and exercising the system at this point in terms of how fast can you do these types of things. That's pretty cool. So with that, with that API approach, you could probably write much more sophisticated control systems, maybe 
maybe things that took advantage of the ultra elasticity in the system, maybe some auto scaling monitors, maybe some health monitors that look at you know, signals within your application and, and say, hey, we need to, we're spending too much money, we don't have the load, let's scale it down, or we're doing great, we can scale it up, right? Right, and, and what Mark's alluding to is, is that as these basic foundational principles are actually offered to you and feel light and light, lightweight and easy to use, all of a sudden now a lot of opportunities exist as a developer, as a systems developer, so to speak, of what we actually might be able to do with a system like this. And we're going to show Mark's demo now here. And so I just did while we were talking a push of 200, and that was 13 seconds, which is essentially linear. So you could probably do a, you know, 10, 20,000 requests per second on on a cloud like this if you're able to scale up to those levels that quickly. Yep. But that's a peak, right? And, and in the trough of your traffic, you probably need one-tenth the number of front ends. Right. Right. So that, that's what we want to get into a little bit next, this whole concept of auto-scaling and auto-black magic and, and things like that. So let's, let's bring up the Blinkies, and we'll talk about that a little bit. So this app, um, why don't you bring the front end, bring the back end count back down to six and leave the front end there. And let me get some load in there just a second. So, so what Mark's can... setting up now is this is a demo that has both a front end component and a back end component. We can see systems we believe that will have lots and lots of tiers and components. But what Mark's app is allowed to do is it understands when it's under pressure. And again, because of the fact that the system is controllable through HTTP and JSON, and the VMC command line is actually a gem that has a client library based into it also, He's actually pulled into his app that he's deploying the whole VMC gem itself. So he's controlling himself as he's running here. So what we have going on here, this, this app is a multi-part app. So there's actually three applications in the mix here, 64 total nodes. We have an array of uh, 16 front-end nodes and, and 48 back-end nodes. And the idea is, is that traffic comes into the front-end. They, they sometimes do a little work and then typically generate a message to the back-end. And if the back end can't keep up with the, with the uh, rate of incoming messages, it gets behind. The counter, the pending message count that goes from uh, green, or why don't you refresh that? Oh, okay, you're, you're good. Goes from green to red. This thing is showing how deep, how deep that queue is. Right? So, so as, as traffic comes in and the back end can't keep up, the number goes red. When the back end is keeping up, it, it goes to green. So, Let's, uh, let's run that just a little bit. And you're at one back end or two back ends. So we're building up some traffic. Hit, hit refresh on that. Oh, you got it, you got it. So now if you go to 64 nodes, you see we got two th a message backlog of 2,000. But if he clicks on, on, that, uh, on that guy, we'll scale up to 48. You got to click it. Right at it. Okay, well, maybe it's not working all the way or somebody's running it. There, there we go. go. Okay. Uh, so that'll drain the backlog very quickly. So then the next thing that we can do is, is realize that, you know, having a, having a person watch your traffic and, and click is not an efficient use of time. So we can turn on auto scaling and now the system will watch the mess, the, the backlog between the front end of the backlog, front end of the back end and scale up and down the back end to handle the incoming load. So once you turn auto scaling on, and then I'll throw some load at it. And of course, you know, what prompted this demo is not only the flexibility and the abilities of the system itself, but you know, we got a lot of feedback about you know, scalability and, and things like that of a system and how it can be applied to my app itself. Now, auto scaling as a general rule sometimes can be dicey, especially when you get the bill at the end of the month. Um, but what I think this demo clearly shows is that the ability is baked into the system readily available to any framework and app, such as your app or a monitoring app, can do all of the things you need to auto-scale all your platforms up and down. Okay, let's uh, go on here. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is, is this idea of services. So let's go back to the slide deck. Uh, 